Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. If you're new, welcome. Today I am showing you some of these gorgeous creations that I have made with my latest order from Panda Hall. It was a collaboration. They sent me these products to try out and I wanted to show you what I have created with them. So I have made these amazing dangles. I just love them. They would be perfect hanging off the side of my December daily. I could see this as a gift basket tag dangling off of that. I could see putting it on um, or even just in some happy mail to send off to a pen pal for them to use. But you can see what I've created here. So I started with the star and then I added a chain and I dangled some of these fun globes, flowers and charms that came in my last um, order. And here are some other little things. These charms here, I just added these from my own stash. You can see sort of how they all go together. And I used a ribbon clasp on top of a tag. So remember I got the vellum in my order as well. And here's an example of what I love to do with vellum. So I stitched a shaker pocket together. So I, what I did is I took a tag, put some sequins in it, put the vellum on both the top and the bottom. So the vellum is like sandwiching this tag. I glued all the way around the tag to hold it in place. And then I stitched. After I had done my stitching, I cut the tag just following the shape and I have created this fun little pocket. But you can see what it looks like here. I used my crocodile and I put in an eyelet on the top there and I have this gorgeous fun dangle. I just love them. The next thing that I created was here and I'm going to show you a little tip. So when I told you I glued the vellum down, I tried doing this one without gluing it and you can see it puckered a little bit here and it's kind of good because it allows the sequins to shake more <laughs> but the bad part about it so the back is beautiful but this um, without gluing it down all the way around first I thought maybe I could skip that step but really it was best to glue it in place because it laid it flat and it made sure that everything stayed put. So that's a little tip for you. I'm not unhappy with how this turned out, but that little puckering um, isn't perfect. So, but again, like it does make my shaker pocket allow more movement. <laughs> so I created this and then I layered some pieces on top of that. I used my SCT sampler from December. This is the Doodlebug Let It Snow collection. And I love how it coordinates really well with um, these fun colors that I just love, like these I do want to call it like a tealish blue and pink. So I, I just drew all of those colors in for my charms. And then I put a couple of my Christmas charms that I had in my stash as well. So you can see like, aren't these just gorgeous? I just love these fun, um, different charms that I got. And the lovely thing about these is if you're going to make wire wrapped beads and things, it takes so much time to put them together. But these, I just had fun because I didn't have to like go with the finickiness of trying to um, do the wire wrapped beads. These were all ready. Just like clip them on in place and it's just fun to create and design and pick the things that I like. So I went with the more traditional red and green on this charm here and or the dangle i added these charms right there and i was just drawing in the colors of red and green from this gorgeous little tag that i made here so that is a super fun one but you can see how the different textures add like a really neat element to these dangles because you've got a lot of things going on and, and lots of variety to make them just beautiful. So I made those and then I decided I really wanted to make a yellow dangle for my daughter. Um, she had been enamored with these yellow pieces is her favorite color is yellow she was enamored with like this flower she's like oh can i have this flower can i have this and i said you know what sophia i'm gonna make you something with this um the, like 
the products that came in this and so I added some other fun little kid like yellow elements to it I got these char uh, charms that have the beautiful golden yellow and there's like a little bumblebee in here and it's really funny actually because um, sometimes the way it sits you can see it looks like the bumblebee is going to the flower <laughs> so it's cute anyway I thought she would really like this little dangle that I have created for her and um all of her favorite colors and that way it's more useful like there you go look at the bee is sitting on the flower um it's more useful to give her something that she can use otherwise the little items that she loves they'll just end up like little trinkets getting lost and things but this she can actually clip to something like she can clip it to her um notebook she has some spiral bound um, journals and stuff and she can clip this on the side and then have a fun little element dangling off like I like to do on my books as well so there's that and then I just wanted to show you I did create some cards with my sampler as well and I'll take these out and show you the difference here so you know what I was saying how I like um, adding vellum to things so this is really a very simple card I just die cut out happy birthday and I fussy cut some paper it's popped up these and created a um, a little card here but what I really wished I had done is something that I had done with this one and the difference I did here was I took some of that vellum again and I layered it up and it just sort of adds another element of interest and a softness to the paper and um, and then I decorated the card there so just showing you like the the difference between the two like this is really vibrant colors and it's very pretty but I wished I had done a layer right in there of the vellum um, before I had um, glued it all together because I would have liked that one extra layer of dimension in there and so I was happy that I did that with this one here it adds just a little soft framing to the card so some fun ways but I mean just vellum is so versatile I love it and I was just so happy when I saw it was available at Panda Hall Selected I can leave um, links down below to everything that I um, received if you want to watch my two unboxings actually three I've unboxed the uh, SET sampler as well if you want to see everything that came in that and uh, I'll leave links down below if you're interested in purchasing any of those items I also have a discount code that I will leave down below as well so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time